Replacing your motorcycle chain isn't as hard a job as it sounds, as long as you have the right tools. And while a rivet link chain requires more effort than a clip style chain, they're far more reliable and almost eliminate chains ever breaking. Tools you need are, a chain tool that can break, press and rivet, a wrench or spanner for leverage, vernier calipers. For this video we'll be using a fairly generic tool that you can buy just about anywhere. The parts of the tool are as follows, alignment bolt, push bolt, braking tips, rivet tip, anvil and press plates. The first step is to break the chain. While high-end chain breaking tools can push pins out without the need to grind the rivet down, we still recommend you do so. For cheaper chain tools it will prevent the pins from breaking and for higher end chain tools it will ensure that the pins last longer. Take your chain breaker and have it so that the braking tip is recessed a few millimetres inside the alignment bolt. Place the alignment bolt over the just grounded off rivet and hand tighten it against the chain. The other end of the chain breaker should sit flush over the rivet on the opposite side. Now, all you need to do is tighten the push bolt, ensuring that it's still aligned correctly. After a number of turns, the pin will fall out. If you feel any resistance, stop and check to ensure the pin is being pushed out straight. Before putting on your new chain, you'll probably need to cut it down to the correct size. Use the same techniques that you just did for breaking your old chain. Grind down the rivet and push the pin out. Now get your replacement chain. If you can't easily access your front sprocket, a trick is to take your new chain and using a master link, attach it to the old chain. Pull your old chain through so that it seats your new chain on the front sprocket and then detach it. Take your master link and washers. Place a washer over each pin and push it into the loose end of the chain. Use your rear sprocket to hold everything still and put the bike in gear to prevent the rear wheel from moving as well. Place the other two washers over the ends of the pin and then the link plate over the top. Grab your chain tool and get your press plates out. The plate with no holes goes over the already riveted pins. The plate with two holes will go over the loose plate. The holes allow the pins to come through the plate. Press the plates together by tightening the alignment bolt. All you need to do here is to make it so that the plates of the master link are lined up with the plates on the adjacent links. Don't over tighten as you'll damage the washers. Finally, it's time to rivet. Get your riveting tip and an anvil. The anvil goes in the stationary end of your chain tool and will effectively cup the already riveted pin. It's important that you don't flare the pins too much. To ensure that, we like to measure the rivets from an existing link. The rivet is flared to about 5.5mm. As long as we can get within 0.1 to 0.2mm of that amount, we'll be happy. As it is, the unriveted pin is about 5mm in diameter. Again, ensure the riveting tip is recessed a few millimetres inside the alignment bolt. Hand tighten so everything is flush and aligned correctly, and then begin to tighten. Just do one or two turns at a time, then loosen to measure. Repeat until the rivet has been flared enough. Repeat the steps for the second pin, and you're done. Put a bit of lubrication on the master link you just installed to ensure longevity of your new chain.